And as Nigeria continues to grapple with the challenges posed by hypertension, medical practitioners have been advised to look for the cheapest means of avoiding the disease through an increased provision of health screening and making certain tests and investigations mandatory for the populace. The Chief Medical Director of LASA, Professor Adeto Kumbo Fabanwo, gave their advice during his goodwill message at the 24th Scientific Conference and Annual General Meeting of the Nigerian Hypertension Society NHS Health in Lagos. Also speaking, Professor Rakinya Bayomi, Commissioner for Health in Lagos State, will emphasize the commitment of Lagos State government to sustainable health care delivery, particularly for chronic diseases like hypertension and diabetes, highlighted alarming statistics suggesting that more than 30% of adults in Nigeria suffer from hypertension, commonly known as high blood pressure. The disclosure that the Lagos State Government, through the Ministry of Health, is about to establish a drug management agency to help contain costs and promote local production of generic drugs for metabolic diseases, thereby stabilizing the cost of medications. <laughs> The Royal Father of the Day, His Royal Majesty, Oba Olusegun Ogunye, the Ojutumoro Abigejebu Kingdom, Ogun Waterside Local Government, encouraged the participants to take the campaign to the grassroots in schools at large. The problems are the grassroots. People don't even understand that hypertension is a killer disease. They may probably they be hearing about hepatitis, they be hearing about um, malaria, but we are talking about something that will just trigger their blood pressure to 270 over 190, and all they will tell you is that they will go and get one or two leaves, squeeze it, and probably that's it. And that is why we have a lot of death casualties and so on at the grassroots. So it's actually bad. It is terrible. The awareness, they should let people know at the grassroots that hypertension is real and that it is nothing they could manage at home, that they should go and see their doctor. The rate of hypertension in Nigeria is rising. Um, as of now, one out of every three adults in Nigeria have hypertension. What we can do to curtail this rise and this will include things like it will take diet for example, reduce consumption of excess salt. And the simplest way to do this is after food has been cooked. Let's not say, oh, this salt is not enough. 
we want to add more. The second method of doing this is not to take food that is preserved with salt. There are certain food that you need salt to, to preserve. The two-day conference themed management of hypertension in a depressed economy and sub-theme hypertension in children, the past, present and future, and health financing of hypertension and hypertension-related diseases had in attendance medical experts from all over the country. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.